if you go back more than about four million years ago, uh, our ancestors were basically living in the jungles of Africa. And they ate mostly plant food, mainly fruits and nuts and berries and things that were available in a jungle. But around four million years ago, we had a massive uh, change in climate in the world and the uh, jungle areas of Africa shrank and grasslands took much of their place. And our ancestors were the primates who left the jungles and went out and become upright walking creatures called hominins, eventually becoming humans about four million years later. When they went out into the grasslands, there is not the same food supply as what there is in the jungle. So they had to adapt to a new food supply. And that new food supply was mainly animal food because in grassland areas, there's not many plants that we can eat. So unless you want to starve, you start eating animal foods. Initially, we were small. We had small brains. Uh, we, we couldn't be very good hunters. Uh, so we were scavengers. We used to find the bones of uh, ruminant animals that had been killed by you know, a saber-toothed tiger or something. And we would take a rock and crack the bones open and eat the marrow. And bone marrow is very rich in energy. It's, it's got a lot of fat. We would also crack the skulls of uh, uh, dead animals and eat the brain tissue. And uh, that was also full of fat and uh, very nutritious for us. And we began um, our, our journey on carnivory in that way, though we never fully become carnivores. We, we are true omnivores. We still kept eating plants whenever we could find them. Uh, but eventually that scavenging of animal parts did turn into uh, full-scale hunting. Uh, as we grew bigger, our brains grew bigger and so on. And we even believed the fact that our brains grew, uh, grew much bigger was due to the animal foods we we're eating. Uh, they provided uh, not only the energy to grow a bigger brain, but the, but the molecules of fat that you need, specific types that make up our brain. And they come from animal food, not plant food. Well, the, the, the use of animal uh, tissue in terms of, of, of scavenged and then hunted uh, animal tissue uh, gave us a predominantly energy-based diet of protein and fat, whereas plant food provides carbohydrate. This protein and fat was uh, high in energy, but it's digested differently to carbohydrate material. For carbohydrates, particularly in the wild, they're mostly cellulose. And so you need a, um, a specific structure in your intestines, either called a rumen, to be a ruminant animal, or what we call a cecum, uh, which other animals uh, would have. And these um, areas of the intestine ferment cellulose to extract carbohydrate. We don't have that and uh, we weren't able to uh, eat grass and leaves uh, to extract energy. So gradually our intestines become more simple than herbivorous animals and now they look more in appearance like a carnivore animal. We have just one simple stomach and we have a, a long small intestine, we have a small large intestine, and we have no rumen and we have no cecum. So we can't live on cellulose material like herbivorous animals. So we are very much similar to a carnivore now than to a herbivore. Though we did maintain some of the uh, biochemical and structural aspects of the intestine that allow us to still digest most plant foods that aren't cellulose, like fruits and nuts and vegetables and so on. 